guys, it's Erin with Hand Stamp Style, and in this video, I wanted to share with you this super, super simple technique of how to shade using a blender pen. And I know that lots of people have shown a bunch of different techniques with a, with a, using a blender pen, but I really like um, the effect of coloring in, I guess, without the use of, um, to get color on color um, without using a traditional marker, stamp and write marker, because the color is so vivid when you do that, you don't get the variation in color like this. Now, this technique really does work the best with, say, a stamp set like Everything Eleanor, because you can see there is some shading, the line shading, in many of the images um, for this stamp set. And so if you can find something similar to that where they've already kind of drawn in a little bit of the shading, it works so well. So I'm just gonna show you, and again, you're gonna die when you see how simple this is. So all I did is, and I'm, for this video, I'm just gonna use Coastal Cabana. I'm gonna stamp my flower image right here. I'm just using scrap paper because um, like in this, I cut them out. And then with the same ink, the pad um, and a blender pen, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the ink and I'm gonna start shading where the lines are already on the image. So that in case I've got a little too much on my pen, you can't tell that I've gotten it too dark somewhere, okay? And the shading is already kind of done for you. Now, keep in mind that when you're using a blender pen that um, you really don't have that many opportunities to color over that area before it starts to kind of peel and pull the cardstock apart. So you do have to work kind of quick and have kind of a light hand if you're gonna go over it several times. And then I'm just gonna pull the color to the outside of the leaf. So it's really very, very, very faint. Um, but you can see that um, the shaded image or the shaded areas of the image already are so much darker. It just makes it look so pretty. And then you're just getting kind of a light touch of the color in the outer, more open areas. If you want to play, make it about a place. It'll take creation, imagination, try to draw outside the line, let us see it inside your mind, you'll find inspiration, all I'm saying. Perfect. Now I did come back and actually full strength, or you know, as, as deep as I could get it, I did color in the little, um, what are those things called? <laughs> I was going to call them pistons, and I knew that's not right. <laughs> It's something like that. They're sex organs, whatever they're called. Um, I just colored those in because what I did is I came back afterwards, and you can see in my sample here next to me, I came back and I actually put dazzling details over top. And so I didn't want um, the color to, because when you put dazzling details over the classic ink, it tends to, um, the dazzling details will pull the color out. Um, because it's, you know, it's a liquid. It's, you know, it's a water-based liquid, so it pulls that color. And so I wanted it a little darker so that when it did pull that color, there was still enough of it left behind that it didn't um, fade, if that makes sense. So you can see in my sample, it looks darker in the center with um, the full strength, and then I came back and I actually did their, their little stems also so those really stood out and then I just put the dazzling details on the little buds of the just like that now doesn't that looking at it now if you had not seen how it was done you think oh my gosh that looks so hard I can't do that it's it takes so much technique but look, I didn't have to have any skill whatsoever to get that look. And look how shaded and just, it, it just looks so difficult, but it's so simple. 
So you guys go give it a try and let me know how it goes for you. Again, if you've ever want to see anything or you have a question about anything, let me know. Send me a question or your suggestions. I'm always looking for new content to provide to you guys. And what better way to do it than to get it straight from, from your mouth. So email me, leave me a comment, or just message me on any of my social sites, and I would be more than happy to do that for you. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you again in the next video. Bye, guys. I